we get to put professional tools in the hands of our students. More and more professions use computers and technology to prepare students for a connected, technology-rich world. Our schools should do their best to give them practice in that environment. The opportunities for collaborating with peers or even experts are endless. Students in my school produce a live weekly tech help show called the Tech Sherpas that connect them with resources and experts outside with other student groups around the world. We share our expertise and we learn from those students that are doing really innovative projects. I mean, when I started teaching, these opportunities didn't even exist. Access to the internet opens up a whole world of information to my students. I mean, we don't have that unanswered question in my class anymore. When a student asks a question that we're not sure the answer to, they'll just dive right in to go find it on their own. Just being connected to the internet allows my kids to go pursue their passions like they never have been able to before. Being connected to the internet isn't just about having access to information. It's about having access to people. One of my students wanted to hear from the author of his favorite book, with just a little searching, we found the author's contact information and we connected with her. Our students were really excited to hear from her and she was excited to talk with us about her writing process. That's the type of direct access to real world experts that just wasn't possible before we got computers. I would encourage teachers to take risks and not worry about getting it right the first time. There are lots of learning opportunities that can come from failure. You are modeling for students what it means to be a learner and how adult learners can problem solve and learn from mistakes. Kids need to see that. I think we have to get comfortable with not knowing everything that there is to know about the technology. We as teachers are professional facilitators of learning. We aren't necessarily tech whizzes. If your pedagogy is solid and you know the learning targets and how to get your students there, then you can let the students help sort out the tech. They'll actually really enjoy the problem solving.